From ancient structures that have stood the test of time to castles that might have real life connections to Dracula and Frankenstein, here are 17 amazing and unusual castles. 17. Citadel of Aleppo Aleppo is an old city located in northern Syria, and it's home to one of the world's oldest and largest castles. Usage of the Citadel Hill stretches back to the middle of the 3rd millennium BC, at the very least, and that's according to experts. Even though it has been occupied by many civilizations like the Greeks, Byzantines, and Ottomans over the ages, most of its original construction has survived to modern times. 16. Mont Saint-Michel Now it started off as a monastery with construction beginning in the 8th century. Located off the coast of Normandy, it's known for its high tides that can nearly separate it from the mainland. It maintains a tenuous link to the coast thanks to a narrow causeway built there in the 1880s. The tides can rush in quickly, and several tourists have drowned while trying to swim across. While the tides provided an excellent natural defense, the political impact of those waters were not lost on some rulers, who use the Mont as a prison. It's one of France's most recognizable landmarks and receives more than 3 million visitors each year. 15. Croc de Chevalier T.E. Lawrence is known to have remarked that this crusader castle in Syria was the, quote, best preserved and most wholly admirable castle in the world. Now that is some steep praise coming from none other than Lawrence of Arabia himself. Kurdish troops first inhabited the site in the 11th century. Crusaders later occupied the castle during the early 12th century. It became one of the most important crusader castles, serving both as a military base and a center of administrative operations. The crusaders, known as the Knights Hospitalier, maintained possession of the castle until it fell in 1271, after a siege that lasted more than a month. Today, it is considered to be one of the world's most important preserved castles. 14. Windsor Castle. Now certainly this is one of the more famous names on the list. Now this is a royal residence in the county of Berkshire and is well known for its lengthy association with the British royal family. Dating to the time of King Henry I, the 12th century, the castle has been used by the reigning monarch. It is in fact Europe's longest occupied palace. In its time, the castle has been used as a military headquarters, a prison, and a refuge from Luftwaffe bombers during World War II. 13. Arg e Bam. At one time, this was the world's largest adobe building. Found in Bam, a southeastern province of Iran, the citadel is located on the Silk Road, but that structure is actually located within a large fortress with some impressive dimensions. Encompassing more than 44 acres, it is cordoned by walls that rise more than 20 feet high and stretch nearly 6,000 feet long. The historical origins of this structure are still a bit hazy. Researchers say that the fortress origins can be traced as far back as the 6th century BC, but it could be even older than that. 12. Malbork Castle Now we have some pretty massive structures on our list, but did you know that Malbork Castle in Poland just might be the biggest of the lot? Well, as measured by land area anyway, it is considered to be the world's largest castle. Covering some 52 acres, that makes it four times the size of Windsor Castle. Construction is thought to have begun sometime in the 13th century in response to the Great Prussian Uprising of the Baltic tribes. It's considered to be a classic example of a medieval fortress, and upon its completion in 1406, it was regarded as the largest brick castle in the world. After a restoration in 2016, Malbork will have to settle for being Europe's largest brick building. 11. Lohenberg Castle Now, if this looks like a castle, then it has done its job. The Lohenberg Castle, or Lion's Castle, is actually an artificial castle ruin located within a park in the city of Cassel. It was actually built over a span of eight years, between 1793 and 1801, and was intended to provide the illusion of a medieval castle ruin. Its builder, Landgraf Wilhelm IX, used it as a private retreat, and it later served as his tomb. Now, some people have regarded this construction as a type of Disneyland of the 19th century. Today, it is regarded as an architectural landmark in Germany. 10. Prejama Castle 
Its name translates to Castle in Front of the Cave, and that gives a clue as to the uniqueness of this structure. The Renaissance castle is found in Slovenia. It's literally built inside the mouth of a cave in the village of Prajama. First descriptions of the castle date to the 13th century when it was built near a natural arch in the stone that would help limit accessibility. The original castle was destroyed, then later rebuilt in the 16th century in its present style and situated by a vertical cliff near the original structure. It's remained there virtually unchanged ever since. 9. Himeji Castle Dating to the 14th century, this hilltop castle in Japan is a complex featuring a network of more than 80 buildings that still contain defensive systems created during the feudal period. Some of those mechanisms included moats along with maze-like bewildering paths to the castle's keep. Stone drop windows were angled chutes in castle walls that allowed defenders to pour boiling oil or drop stones onto the heads of invaders from above. The castle was originally constructed on the site of a dismantled fort in 1333. Today, it is regarded as perhaps the finest example of typical Japanese castle construction that still survives, and it has survived a lot. Did you know that in World War II, most of the surrounding area was burned or firebombed into the ground? But Himeji Castle survived intact. It also survived the massive Great Hanshin Earthquake of 1995. While the surrounding city was heavily damaged, the castle itself made it through mostly unscathed. 8. Patala Palace Located in Lhasa, Tibet, this impressive edifice served as the residence of the Dalai Lama. At least it did until the 14th Dalai Lama exited to India during the Tibetan uprising in 1959. Construction of the modern palace got underway in the 17th century during the era of the 5th Dalai Lama, but its origins can be traced to 637 AD when an emperor decided to construct his palace on a hill that rises some 130 meters above the Lhasa Valley. The palace itself rises another 170 meters beyond that, making for a total height of around 300 meters, or close to 1,000 feet. Containing more than 10,000 shrines, 1,000 rooms, and 200,000 statues, the palace measures around 400 meters, or 1,312 feet, going east to west. Going north to south, it measures some 350 meters, or 1,148 feet. That leaves little doubt as to what is the most massive monumental structure found in Tibet. 7. Castle Frankenstein Could this have been the location that helped inspire Mary Shelley to write her classic Frankenstein? Located in Germany, this castle dates to the 13th century at least, so it was around for quite a while before Shelley's Gothic novel was published in 1818. Castle Frankenstein occupies a section of the Odenwald mountain range, which contains dark forests and mysterious narrow valleys, and there are many legends enshrouding the region. According to one legend, an alchemist named Johann Conrad de Pell was born at this castle. It is said that he performed medical experiments on dead bodies, which could be reanimated with a bolt of lightning. Now, if this place did not inspire Mary Shelley to write Frankenstein, well, then maybe it should have. 6. Corvin Castle Now this one is known by a few different names, including Hunyad Castle, but whatever you want to call it, it is one of Europe's largest castles, and is one of the Seven Wonders of Romania. Construction started in the mid-15th century at the behest of John Hunyadi, who ordered the castle be built over the site of a former keep. Known for its imposing towers and grand reception halls, Corvin Castle has an even greater claim to fame. Legend has it that Dracula was once held captive here for seven years after being deposed. Or actually, it was Vlad III, who was also known as Vlad the Impaler, and he was considered to be a prime inspiration for the Dracula legend. 5. Bran Castle And since we just mentioned Dracula's connection to Corvin Castle, seems only fair that we mention Bran Castle, which is a fortress that sits on the border of Transylvania near Bran, Romania. It's thought to have a loose connection with Vlad the Impaler. Even so, it is still referred to as Dracula's Crib, so to speak, and is bloody popular with the tourists. 4. Prague Castle If you want to debate these numbers, we'll leave you to it then. But the Prague Castle in the Czech Republic is said to cover more than 750,000 square feet. According to Guinness, 
That makes it the world's largest ancient castle. The castle walls first went up in the 9th century, but construction was not completed until the 20th century, 1929 to be exact. The castle has served as the seat of power for kings and emperors. Since 1918, the castle has been the official residence of the President of the Czech Republic. The castle complex attracts nearly 2 million visitors each year and is Prague's biggest tourist attraction. Yeah, you can take that literally. 3. Matsumoto Castle Along with Himeji Castle on a list, Matsumoto is also considered one of the premier castles of Japan. Due to its dark exterior, it's also referred to as Castle Crow. The crow visual was also enhanced by the castle's black walls and roofs, which had the appearance of spreading bird wings. The structure is unique in part because it is built on a flat plain, not on a hillside or built near rivers. The 16th century flatland edifice is thought to have included defenses, including a wide-ranging network of interlocking walls and moats, along with towers and turrets to repel invaders. The castle's keep is recognized as a national treasure of Japan. 2. Neuschwanstein Castle Bavaria's King Louis II, also known as Ludwig II, had three royal castles built, but the most famous is the Neuschwanstein, located in the Bavarian Alps. Construction started in 1869, but was still unfinished when the king died in 1886. Quite advanced for its time, the castle was equipped with flushing toilets and running water, in addition to a heating system. With its towers and spires, the castle has a romantic medieval look that makes it easy to consider this as the quintessential fairy tale castle. And in fact, it did serve as an inspiration for Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle. Open to the public shortly after the king's death, the location now receives more than a million visitors every year. 1. The Swallow's Nest You might say that whoever lives in a castle like the Swallow's Nest really likes to live the life on the edge. Now for a castle, this one is actually pretty small, measuring around 66 feet long by 33 feet wide. That would be the size of a closet for some of these other more massive structures on the list, but the swallow's nest manages to make up for in aesthetics whatever it might lack in sheer size. It is found in the Crimean Peninsula, where it sits atop the Aurora Cliff, rising some 130 feet high, where it overlooks the coast of the Black Sea. It has become one of Crimea's most popular tourist attractions and a symbol of the southern coastline. 